In this video, we're going to route the cables in the side plate adapter recesses here. Uh, and we're going to start with the audio adapter. Uh, and there's arrows here to tell us where to route the cable. So we'll start by plugging this in. Then we'll start here on this arrow and leave just a little bit of slack, enough to get your finger in there. Uh, and we'll just route it around the outside edge of this recess. And we're gonna go twice around and just use your fingers to push the cable down on top of the first round. Okay. And then we'll exit this side here. So we went in, around, down, and out. Okay. And now we'll use our four millimeter Allen wrench to tighten this screw. And there's a lip on the outside uh, that will keep this from turning. So you have a screw here and then a uh, wedge that keeps this straight. And the rubber will bind against the backside of the plate. So we need to make sure we tighten this down enough. Okay. The next step is to install the EB1. Uh, and we'll do a similar process. So install the connector. Arrows here tell us where to go in. And again, we'll just leave enough slack to get one finger in there. And we're going to do a similar thing. Go around the outside. One time inside there. And in this case, we're actually going to put the bottom edge of this up against the bottom line on the recess. Uh, it's a little bit easier to see in person, but there's a, a line here and we're going to make sure that stays there. So we'll hold that in place. We're going to go a second time around and this time we're stacking the cable here on this part. Uh, and then we're going to exit on that double arrow. This one's a little bit more difficult to keep in place, but the cable is much more rubbery. Um, so it will uh, cooperate when you're moving it around. So we'll start tightening this gently. And we don't want to pinch a cable. So what I'm going to do now is double check that there is no cable in between two metal pieces before I start tightening it down completely. And we are looking good. So we'll continue to tighten this down. I should mention that there is a little bit of cable in the genlock area here, uh, but that is easily moved out of the way when you go to install the connector. Genlock is not commonly used, so that shouldn't be a problem for most people. Uh, and you could see how easy that was to install.